Hi friends, I'm Jessica from SC English TV. Today let's do something different. Today let's talk with Gabby. Gabby is Peruvian, but she's now living in the USA. So she will tell us her experience there. Hi Gabby. Hi Jessica. It is a great experience being here. And yeah, it is true. I live right now in New York. Uh, really close to New York City. I'm working in social media. That's my job right now. And I'm really glad that of being here in your channel. Thanks, Gabby, for accepting my invitation. Bueno, chicos, esta es una nueva secuencia que hemos abierto en el canal para invitar a algunas personas que hablan inglés y para que nos cuenten sobre su experiencia con ello. También podamos interactuar un poquito y ustedes lo puedan conocer más. Estos son tipo entrevistas, interviews. En este caso, vamos a entrevistar a nuestra amiga Gabby de Spanglish Gabby. So, Gabby, welcome. Tell us something about yourself. Hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, mi nombre es Gabriela. Eh, actualmente me encuentro viviendo en los Estados Unidos, en Nueva York, muy cerca de New York City. Y pues me vine a los Estados Unidos por amor, por, por mi esposo. Y, y nada, eh, quería contarles un poco de mi experiencia eh, aprendiendo inglés y las puertas que me ha abierto el inglés en mi vida. Ok, Gaby, ¿cómo aprendiste inglés? ¿Tú aprendiste inglés antes de viajar o allá en Estados Unidos? Yo siempre digo que soy una eterna estudiante de inglés. <ríe> Aprendí, la primera vez que eh, eh, aprendí fue a los 8 o 9 años, más o menos, en el colegio. Eh, pues, yo me cambié de un colegio eh, que era nacional a un colegio particular de monjas. Y pues la primera experiencia para mí fue como la primera clase de inglés en la que todos los niños ya hablaban inglés y yo era como, uy, no sé nada, no sé ni decir hello. Y sí me costó bastante eh, nivelarme a, a todos los alumnos como más o menos un año en especial porque en esa etapa de niño te enseñan como que lo básico. Y después a los 13 años eh, me matriculé en el IPNA y ahí estuve como tres años hasta avanzado más o menos. Okay, so where are you from exactly? Uh, I'm from Cusco, but um, actually the half of my life until now <laughs> I, I live in Lima. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so since you were living in Cusco, uh, probably you have the opportunity to talk with tourists. How was that experience for you? Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of memories about that because uh, my parents used to have a store really close to the main square of Cusco. And they, they, they used to tell me all the time like, oh, you know English, talk, talk with the tourists, talk with the tourists. And I was... I was always like a shy a kid and I was like, no, I know how to talk, but I don't want to talk because I don't know, I was always afraid. But yeah, I guess uh, with the years and with the practice, I started talking with people, you know, uh, like uh, especially the customers of, of, of the store, my parents, like what do you need, what are you looking for, or there was always people in, in Cusco uh, that they don't know any word in Spanish, like they were really lost and tried to help them, and yeah, that's how I started practicing and I started talking With, with other people because I was really afraid always my whole life to, to talk in English actually. Great, great. It's nice to know a little more about you. Now tell us uh, your experience there in the United States, right? How was that experience? How this opportunity appear in your life? Um, well, actually this is not the first time that I'm here in the States. The first time that I came here, it was in 2010, 2009, I guess. I made a program, an internship, a work and travel program. And yeah, it was the first time that actually I started speaking in English because my job uh, was working in a McDonald's 
and I started as a cashier and it was like okay now is the time <laughs> where I need to talk in English to survive it was more survival than other thing so yeah um, then after that in 2015 uh, I came here to the United States uh, with a scholarship I studied in the university for uh, during uh, the months of the summer and it was a great experience like uh, it's one of the best experiences of my life because I uh, share with a lot of students from all over the world and I learn a lot about other cultures. Uh, for the first time I, I experienced listening other uh, languages, other accents of English and yeah it was great. Like I always say that my English is not perfect but my English opens me the doors of the world. That's nice, Gabby. Now, Gabby, you can also tell us the advantages of speaking English before traveling to the United States. What are some advantages? Yeah, I always say that I'm, <laughs> um, I'm a student. Even now, my English is not perfect, but I guess uh, since that opportunity, uh, of the first time that I came to the United States, English, uh, it was really important to survive, especially in the airports, especially in the hospital, especially in every single place here in the United States, you need to speak English. In some parts of the United States, there are people that speak Spanish, but not in all the states. So I remember uh, that, um, I was in the airport, really lost the, the first time that I came to the United States and I was uh, trying to look for someone who would speak in Spanish and I didn't find anyone. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? Yeah. And then, you know, I, I realized, okay, my English is not perfect, but I need to do it. So I ask in English and people understand you even if you don't have even if you have like a really basic English they will understand you and yeah that was the first step in my life and it was like yeah now I'm ready I will speak and that's how I'm doing it all this time you know okay Gabby uh, also people can ask themselves how to get the visa right is it difficult it's a long process can you tell us something about that please uh, yeah, it is a little difficult. It depends on the visa. Um, well, in my life, uh, I used to have uh, the student visa. Is the J1. Uh, when I was a student, then I have the tourist visa. And in this uh, last year, I get the engagement visa. So in those process, in all of them, they, they will always ask you about um, your background. If you're a student, if you have a job, uh, if you have, uh, I don't know, properties or... Especially if you have like uh, money, <laughs> like <laughs> if you have a job or uh, for example, when I was a student, they always, um, they asked me about like who will pay your trip. Like, I was like my parents. So they ask about uh, my parents, all the background of my parents. So it is a little difficult, but it is possible. Okay, so what is your suggestion for people who wants to travel to the United States or to other countries? What is your advice? Save money a lot <laughs> because this country is really expensive. <laughs> and try to look for scholarships or internships because to have a real experience and to try to practice and learn the, the language is really important to stay here at least a month. If you come here just for some days as a tourist, you will uh, not really practice as you want or you will not learn that much. So right now in Peru there is especially in Peru and I know that in other countries they have scholarships like Fulbright scholarship and they have others for you know for interchange or different kind there is one program also 
that one of my friends is doing it right now is Oper. It's really good because the family pay you to study English in the country. So and you just have to take care of their children, right? Uh, and they pay you for that also. So it's a it's really a good opportunity. Uh -huh. It's a really good opportunity. Have you ever tried? Here. No. No, I didn't try because <laughs> I'm not good with the kids. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, Gabby, so can you tell us something uh, about yourself, something like um, what do you do right now or where can we find you? Well, uh, right now I'm working. Um, I, I'm content creator, so you will find me in social media uh -huh. as Spanglish Gabby. I have also my YouTube channel. I'm working right now in a second channel that will be in English, so I cannot say anything yet because it's a secret <laughs> don't tell anyone surprise yeah it is a surprise but yeah you can follow me on instagram and um, i'm trying to do a lot of uh, english content so you can go there also my husband uh, is from the united states so he's always trying to say something in english or trying to collaborate with me in some of the posts of the stories and everything so you can go there and also practice your so your you know your now <laughs> I'm, I want to ask you about your husband because you told me that he's from there right he's from the United States so can you tell us <laughs> this is <a> good <laughs> You know why I'm asking yeah. this? It's because um, some people want to learn English in order to find a date, to find a partner, a couple, a boyfriend, and a girlfriend. So yeah. this could be also a motivation for them to learn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I, I met him here in the States uh, in 2017. I came here as a tourist uh, in a trip, you know, for some days. Uh, and I met him here in the in New York City and we started dating and then I came back to Peru and we started a long distance relationship. It was really hard, but <laughs> not in Time the beginning, possible. in the beginning we started talking in English all the time. But then after a year he learned Spanish because actually he took Spanish in the school in the high school. So right now, that's why my name is Spanglish Gabby because he speaks all the time in Spanish and most of the time I speak in English. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a combination. Um, yeah, it's a combination. Sometimes I mix everything because, you know, I don't know. It's, it's difficult to think in two languages. Yeah, that's right. It's been a pleasure interacting with you right now. And yes, um, if you want to say something, tell us. Give, a, I don't know, a recommendation or something. Mm -hmm. To all the students, uh, keep trying. It is difficult. Sometimes we say to ourselves, like, English is so difficult. I can't do it. I feel so ashamed to talk in English, but do it. English is the best language in the world. Even if I don't speak uh, that well, that opens me the doors of the world. That opens me a lot of opportunities. You cannot imagine. Like, I get some jobs just because I speak English. So do it. Try it and do it and practice all the time and listening to uh, music, series, movies, everything in English. And one day you will realize, for example, if you're uh, watching a movie, in English. In the beginning, you will not understand anything. But then one day you will realize that, wow, now I understand what they're saying. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so just do it. Try it and try it and try it and practice all the time. Mm -hmm. Keep practicing, right? Okay, Gabby, thanks for being with us today. You can follow Gabby on their social media as Spanglish Gabby on Instagram and Facebook and of course on YouTube. She has also a YouTube channel, so subscribe to her YouTube channel and also subscribe to Easy English TV if you haven't. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. See you next time. I hope you really like this video and I hope you can learn English with us. So keep practicing and happy studies. See you there. Bye-bye. <laughs>